going on guys? So Adnan Kenrich is officially signed for Nottingham Forest after training with the Reds his first team and impressing sufficiently enough to get a contract. While he's highly unlikely to make any senior appearances this season, Kenrich is yet another rival which illustrates that Forest have one eye on the future. This is because Dean Henderson's only at the club on loan, Wayne Hennessy has a mere five league appearances to his name in the last three seasons and isn't getting any younger at 35. Jordan Smith is out of contract in the summer, and Ethan Horvath appears to be enjoying himself at Luton Town, and could try and make his move permanent at the end of this campaign, which means bringing in another body is very much the sensible move to be making. In regards to Kanerich's background, he spent six years at Red Bull Salzburg's academy, a club who are now renowned for producing as well as developing some of the best young talent in the game, before getting snapped up by Stoke City in 2018 shortly after their relegation from the Premier League. He spent a season with their reserves before being loaned out to non-league Grantham Town, where unfortunately from his perspective game time proved to be limited. With this in mind, Stoke terminated his contract and Kanerich had to take a step back by signing for Slovakian side Sered. In the space of a few months, he got his career back on track with a number of admirable performances, which resulted in a move to Bosnian giants FK Sarajevo, who are owned by none other than Vincent Tan, a man you'd probably only associate with Cardiff City, and he even made a couple of appearances in the UEFA Conference League last season. As it turns out, there's not much information available on this fella in regards to his style of play, and while there are some highlight reels of him on YouTube, I don't want to jump to conclusions based on those given you can make Titus Bramble look like Paolo Maldini on there. That being said, a couple of things that do stand out about Kanerich are A, just how delighted he is to be making this move. I had a quick look through his socials and he's absolutely buzzing to be here, which makes a nice change from the majority of modern day players who, let's face it, are looking for a paycheck above all else. And B, the fact that he's contracted to Azmir Begovic's goalkeeping brand, which is called AB1GK, and has endorsees such as Tom Heaton and Eldin Jakupovic on their books. The three names that I've just mentioned are in their late 30s, and in some ways, gives a young talent like Kenrich an opportunity to become the face of their products in the not too distant future. Cheers for tuning in as always folks. Apologies again for being unable to provide any information on what this lad will offer on the pitch, but I do hope you gain some insight into his background as well as why Forrest have made this move in the first place. I'm going to try and get out post-match reviews after every Forest League game moving forward, and as frustrating as recent results may have been, implore Forest fans to just enjoy the ride. It almost feels like some are miserable about being back in the Premier League based on what I've read online, which really is a bleeding shame to see. I know Corbrand's been sacked after just six weeks at Olympiacos, and sincerely hope Cooper doesn't meet the same fate, because I've got full faith in this man and back him to turn things around in the second half of the season if given the opportunity to do so. Take care and enjoy the rest of your week, lads. Peace.